Hey, this is Venture Satanus. How's it going? I'm recovering from a cold, so uh, this is going to be a short, short video. And I'm promoting and talking about my latest Kickstarter campaign for Girls Gone Rogue. Uh, Girls Gone Rogue is a sister volume, a companion book to Alpha Blue, uh, which you can see right over here. Uh, Alpha Blue is a old school vintage e uh, sleazy, sexy, and humorous sci-fi role playing game. Uh, it's got a lot of random tables, um, a lot of little bits and pieces for scenarios and campaign seeds, uh, building outrageous characters. Um, and I hope a lot of advice for playing that kind of game. Um, sometimes I liken it to uh, the movie Ice Pirates, or something like Star Wars or Star Trek meets, I don't know, like Porky's, or Revenge of the Nerds, or the Satisfiers of Alpha Blue, or Star Babes, or really any kind of 70's uh, science fiction based porno. Which seems really weird because uh, most of the time, you know, in the fantasy role playing game uh, genre, you don't think um, sex or sexiness or anything like that. But this is kind of breaking through that, that wall, um, getting into the taboo and uh, coming out the other side. You don't have to you know, engage in all kinds of, I don't know, Grand, Thre Grand Theft Auto or literally the Lounge Lizard shenanigans uh, when you're playing. But it gives you the option, you know, it sets the tone, it allows for that kind of thing to just naturally, organically happen or take place. Sometimes that stuff happens anyway. You go to a tavern, uh, there's not a lot going on, you see some bar wenches or whatever, or maybe an elven princess, or some sort of demonic succubus, and one thing just kind of leads to another, uh, and maybe it feels out of place, or weird, because you came to this session to, you know, storm the castle, or explore the caverns, or whatever, um, but for Alpha Blue, uh, you know, that's kind of the part and parcel of the game, I mean, that's kind of what it's for. You can do other things too. I mean, you can have, you know, starship battles and, uh, you know, anything else. You can have your bounty hunter can track down people uh, just like any other game, like Star Wars or Star Trek or any of the science fiction role playing games or um, franchises out there. But what Alpha Blue excels in is the humor and uh, the sex. And so. You know, if you want to go that route, you have more than just, you know, permission. Uh, it gives you the tools to try to see where that goes. Um, before creating this, I didn't have a lot of uh, experience with that kind of stuff. You know, we erotic situations and sexual situations, you know, uh, describing nudity and, and sex and things like that. That was touched upon here or there, no pun intended, um, but really didn't explore, you know, that much of it. But with this, I kind of dove right in, and I've tried it many times, and I've heard about other people that have tried it, play tested it, or just used it. Um, it works really well. It's, it's a different kind of role-playing experience, and it's really cool. Uh, anyway, enough about that. So, Girls Gone Rogue... It's going to be more of the same, except a lot of new things, a lot more random tables, a lot more scenarios, campaign setting pieces. Uh, There's going to be lots of crazy characters like uh, Bubba Fat and Black Helmet and, I don't know, just tons of stuff. Um, there's a lot of extras, uh, free things that when we reach enough stretch goals, I'm just going to give away. So you don't even have to back this or buy the book later. Uh, when it comes on sale. It's just going to be free. Uh, a lot of cool maps, like a cantina map, 
it's also going to double as like a space bar, a club, wet star location, uh, cool starship maps um, to go along with the blue flamingo and the alpha blue space station that already exists. Uh, a lot of great stuff. So, um, oh, here's some of the customized pieces with the, uh, the dragon demon head. That's the logo for Cortales Publishing. Um, and some corresponding dice. These are uh, opaque red with black. These are um, opaque black with red. Um, there's also, I'm going to get some more of these. Um, blue. Uh, these are only for the, the top um, tier uh, rewards. But for the next Kickstarter and for the last one, uh, there's going to be a lot more like add-ons. Um, anyway, I don't know why I showed you that because uh, there's only three spots for that and one is already gone. Anyway, uh, but in case you wanted to see the dice uh, or see what people got from the last Kickstarter. Uh, I think that's enough. Uh, oh, let me briefly show you the map. So this is the Blue Flamingo. Uh, Glenn Seal of Monkey Blood Design is working on a new, new design uh, for the maps. So instead of like a blue... Blueprint, blueprint schematic like this, and then here's the space station. Um, you can see uh, it's big. So, uh, so instead of that, it's going to have a difference. It's going to have like a weathered spaghetti western uh, cantina, like almost like a pirate map look, um, where you might find buried treasure in the 1800s or something like that. Uh, it's going to have some blood stains and some other stains, and like I said, it's going to be weathered. and It's, it's really, really cool looking. Um, later today, I'm going to post um, in an update, so check that out uh, down below. I'm going to post uh, the links, the Dropbox, Dropbox links. So you can just have them, because um, we've already reached the first stretch goal or two. Uh, and they're just free for everybody to use. You can print them out and blow them up and laminate them like I did. Uh, like I did with the previous ones and I will with the new ones when I get a chance. Um, I'm actually running Alpha Blue again this coming Saturday, a week from today. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. So I'm going to have some, some of those on hand. Um, and we want I want the new ones. I want the new Starships that uh, Glenn is, and I are proposing and working on. If you look at the Sunfish map, the little black silhouettes, um, those are the new ones that we have in mind. And we, if we reach enough money for the stretch goals, we can make them. Um, so I really, really want that to happen. Uh, please help and spread the love around. This right here, this five-year-old flip camcorder thing that I use, um, this is my advertising budget. Uh, basically zero, zero dollars. Uh, so it's all word of mouth and um, people helping on social media or talking about it on role-playing game blogs and forums and stuff like that. You guys, you guys do a lot of the work and make it that much more awesome and possible for us to realize our dreams. And uh, yeah, I really want this to be as awesome and cool and giant and expansive as possible because I love Alpha Blue and what it represents for gaming um, it's a new avenue and I think it can draw a lot of people in and give some old uh, experienced hardcore gamers a little something new that they've never had before uh, maybe they've tried and maybe it didn't have that great of results but um, you know I think this is worth pursuing. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for bearing with me in my post-cold video. Uh, that's it. All right.